Shalom Bacha, I would like to wish you well. I pray to Hashem to give you, all of you, happiness. Three small stories, beautiful stories. A woman that always, when I used to go to Zurich, Zurich she, she used to receive me in her house, receiving people. Now she lives in Israel. She told me that a few years ago, she had a bad allergy, and uh, she needs it to come to Isawera to pray in the grief of her behind Pinto. And she told the doctor she couldn't help her. Oh, what did give her didn't help? She told her husband, my last address now it's Rabbi Chaim Pinto. Thanks to God, the same week, everything went well. She cured. She has nothing today. She told me, she told me another story. One day she had, she was in a rush to go to pick up her baby from school, but she forgot to take the keys. She locked the house, no keys. It was Friday. And the food was on the gas, cooking. What she's going to do? She was, she did not know from where to get the key. She was desperate. She did not walk. And she prayed to Hashem. Next to her house, there is a, a window. But that window for 10 years is always closed. They never open it. She never opened it. And she prayed to Hashem. Hashem, with the zikhut of Rabbi Chaim Pinto, maybe this window is open. But she thought, but I never opened it. How can it be open? For 10 years I'm here. I don't know what she said, what happened to me. I just touched it and it opened. It's, she said, it's impossible because always it's closed with a lock. Who opened it? The first story she told me, that she went to the shop. She told me a lot of stories, but just to pick up these three beautiful stories that she, this lady, she told me. She went to buy for Shabbos food. She took her purse. After she bought all what she needed, there was things that they will send her, they think that she talk with her. Once she arrived home, oh, the purse. In the purse, she had there her cards, the bank card, money, uh, some brachot that she, that, she, that she had in her purse. She was very sad. She went to all the places where she went, from where she, she bought for Shabbat. Nothing. She didn't find nothing. She was very, very sad. Very sad. She came back. She said, Hashem, this is for Shabbos, Rabbi Shabbat. Why you have to serve her? Shabbos. Okay. She pray again. Maybe somebody will find it. She will bring it to me. Well, she went to her room to change her clothes. And she found the purse on the bed. My friend, I know it's hard for you to understand this. Don't forget, today with the, the technology, nobody say, wow, wow. Every day we hear things, new things happen. Miracles, nobody, nobody say, because it's technology. My friend, with Hashem, everything can change, huh? The same way that Hashem listened to the prayer of the tzaddikim, the same way He can listen to you. If you pray, and really you pray from the bottom of your heart, Hashem can change things. How many people, the doctor said, it's finished for you? He said, we can, there's nothing you can do. About Hashem, they live. They live. Not only they live, I know somebody, they killed him with chemo 30 years ago. And uh, thanks God, Baruch Hashem, he, he had children. The doctors cannot believe from where this sperm came. 
They told him before that he could But this man, he prayed so hard to Hashem. And Hashem listened to his tefillot. My friend, this is Emunah. We show the best. Thank you.